Somebody asked me a great question on our website, and it's very difficult to answer this question in three minutes, but here we go. What is the difference between the definition of a similar device, a benchmark device, an equivalent device, state-of-the-art device, and subject device? You get the idea. The subject device is the subject of your regulatory submission. So, you could list the whole entire model name, and if you have 17 different models in your submission, it's going to be a very long name, or you could just say the subject device. What it means is the device that you're trying to get regulatory approval for in this submission. So that's what subject device is. And we use that term in most regulatory uh, submissions. And it's just to shorten what we have to say, so we have fewer words. The second item, state-of-the-art device. When you are trying to get an MDR certification, so CE marking, and that's where this term comes from, you're required to make sure that your device, which you do a clinical evaluation of, is at least as safe and effective as other devices, and they actually use safety and performance. Um, so they want the safety and performance of that device clinically to be at least as good as other competitor products that are on the market. You don't want it to be, here's the performance of everybody else, and we're way down here in terms of safety. It's cheaper, which is great. We want to have devices that are less expensive for healthcare, but not at the cost of patient safety. So that's why we establish what the state of the art is in a state of the art clinical evaluation, which is a shorter clinical evaluation. And then we do a clinical evaluation of our product showing ours is equivalent or better. Now we have equivalent devices. This term could be used in Europe or the US. Europe is more stringent. So in the US, it's something that meets the six part uh, or six question flow chart for substantial equivalence in a 510K. But in Europe, they expect it to be nearly identical. And they have a whole entire guidance document on substantial equivalence for the US, and they have a whole entire guidance document for equivalence in Europe. So it depends on what type of submission you're doing, what equivalence means. They have different de definitions. So be very careful on what context you're using the word equivalence on. But what is okay for U.S. is not necessarily going to be okay for Europe. Benchmark device. Usually a benchmark device, if you are trying to design a device, you want to come up with a competitive benchmark, either your own previous version of the device or a competitor product, and it might be something you're doing testing against. In FDA context, sometimes it could be if you're doing side-by-side -side testing and showing non-inferiority. And the last one, similar device, it's just something similar. 